Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the cartoon Steven Universe. If you don't watch this show, then click off this video as there are spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen most of the episodes. The topic in this video is something that some people have requested me to do, and it is the identity of Pink Diamond. One of the big mysteries of Steven Universe is figuring out the identities of the gem leaders in the Great Diamond Authority. While we know about Yellow Diamond and a bit about Blue Diamond, the other two are mysteries. Since the identity of Pink Diamond is a popular topic, I wanted to go over my thoughts on it and why I think it is Rose Quartz. There's a lot of evidence for this, some of it being things that other people have said and other parts are what I noticed and wanted to share with you. In the Sky Arena, we can clearly see the logo for the Great Diamond Authority. If you look to the top of the picture, you will notice the smaller version of the logo is breaking, but the only part breaking is the pink part, which might be symbolizing that that diamond has gone away or been destroyed. This could be a minor hint that Rose was Pink Diamond, and it would be very subtle, so not many people would notice it. Also, the Pink Diamond is destroyed in this scene. The fact that they chose to show the destroyed Pink Diamond twice in two different scenes shows us that it is not a coincidence and that we should not ignore it. This temple from the episode Sirius Steven shows us the rebellion in action, with Rose holding a Pink Diamond to fight the Great Diamond Authority. Of course, this picture alone doesn't prove that she is Pink Diamond, but it does give a hint towards that. On the sides of the mural, we can see the other two members of the Great Diamond Authority, and we know this because of the triangles on their chests, which obviously represent their diamonds. So perhaps Rose was Pink Diamond, but started opposing what the rest of the diamonds wanted to do to Earth, so she fought them. Another important hint is that on Pearl's outfit in the episode Space Race, we see a Pink Diamond. You may shrug this off as something put there just for character design, however that is not true. Peridot and Jasper both have yellow diamonds on their clothing, which signals to us that they support yellow diamonds. We know that Pearl helped Rose during the rebellion, and that they were very close, so it would make a lot of sense if Rose was indeed Pink Diamond because of the Pink Diamond scene on Pearl's suit. With these many hints, one important thing to note is that Rose kept many secrets. Even though she was a very powerful entity and she fought for good, she still didn't trust some people and she kept information from others. In the episode Rose's Scabbard, Garnet says that Rose kept many things secret, even from her Pearl and Amethyst. Rose holding the big secret of her being Pink Diamond would make sense because it would be for protection of everyone. If the Crystal Gems knew, they would probably never see Rose in the same way as before. It makes sense that Rose decided to keep things secret because all she wanted to do was help the world. Another small piece of evidence I noticed is the comparison of the logo for the Great Diamond Authority between then and now. On ancient structures, we see all four diamonds combining together to make another diamond. Pink Diamond is a part of this, which is very important when comparing it to the modern logo for the Great Diamond Authority. In the modern logo, there are only three diamonds seen, and the only one missing is Pink Diamond. If Pink Diamond was actually Rose, it would make sense to take her out of the logo because the other diamonds didn't want to trade her to be a part of it. Since Rose went from evil to good, the Great Diamond Authority took her out of the logo and it turned into a triangle logo instead of a diamond. Anyway, that's all for this video. Be sure to comment below and tell me what you think, and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.